hello everyone you welcome back to my channel in today's video we're learning how to make a heart using the pleated quillonin okay so i have with me the following materials to work with this is the pleated quillonin and i have this my blocked base i blocked this with a paper mat material and then um, i'm going to cover it with fabric so i have my uhu glue a pair of scissors needle and thread okay and i have this fabric i'm going to be using to cover my blocked base it's called the metallic fabric but you can always use any other fabric of choice okay so i have my applique okay and then um, my trimmers i have trimmers and i have the plier i have my hat wire i have the strong and the other one I'm going to be using the strong one for the purpose of this video. Okay, I also have my bias strips. I have my plier. I have um, paper tape. I have some clips. I have my Harley's band or elastic band. You could use any one of them. So to start with, I have my wire and the length is about 55 inches. 55 inches and I have overlapped the two ends and wrapped with um, paper tape. I believe you should know how to do this. You can check my other videos on how to make fascinators for you to be able to get this part. So with the help of my UHU glue, I'm going to wrap the wire. I'm going to cover the wire around with my bias strip. So just keep that aside. I have videos showing how to wrap your wire with fabric or bias strip. So you may need to watch them. Okay, so I have my crown. I have my crown molded with paper mat and i'm going to be using this my fabric to cover it up this is the metallic fabric but you can use any fabric of choice i also have a detailed tutorial showing how to cover a molded base with fabric this is my wire wrapped with bias strip i actually did that off camera watch my other videos on how to do this and i also have my base covered with fabric i'll put the links to all these videos in the description box so that we don't have this video too long okay so I'll, I have my quinonine and um, I'm going to cut what I need for this. Now the length of quinonine we need for this project to make a brim is 72 inches. That's about 2 yards, 72 inches, okay? Alright, I know on quinonine there are two sides. One side that has the thread. For most quinonine you find one side of it with thread in it. Okay, so is it that you take off the thread? Or you use the thread to gather it up like this. You can just pull, pull it to form gathers. But I usually prefer to use needle and thread because sometimes the thread cuts along the line, or it just pulls off. So I always prefer to use needle and thread. So now I'm going to be using needle and thread to sew loose stitches from one end of the quinoline to the other end. That's on the side. That we have the thread so i'll just sew loose stitches with about one inch or half an inch interval like that from one end to the other end i've gotten to the other end of the quillonine okay and so I'm going to be gluing the two ends together. I'll be using UHU glue to secure the two ends together. Okay, if you can stitch um, in an invisible way, please go ahead and do so. Okay, I just apply my glue thinly, I mean very light, very lightly, and I'm going to allow it dry a little and place the other end on it like this. After gluing the two ends of the crinoline together, I just go back to my needle and thread and pull just to gather it up and at the same time adjust it to make sure that it's not too gathered up together. Just watch what I'm doing, I hope you get it and I just tie a knot right there. Now I'm going to place the base, the molded base covered with fabric to my brim. You know the art is divided into two parts, we have the brim and the crown, so the molded part is called the crown while the quillonine part is called the brim so i'll be using the words the brim and the crown okay so i'm going to place 
the brim you know i covered it with fabric and i had to cut the excess fabric right there so with the help of my hue glue i'll be attaching the crown to the brim together please you need to watch this part carefully i'm just going to place my crown onto the brim like this after applying my glue i'll place it on it i'll make sure the glue dries up a little before i proceed I use my clips to hold the brim down to the crown like this and you know the quillonine is kind of pleated so you can easily drag it to expand kind of while trying to clip it to the brim. okay so it's uh, fixed now and i'm going to take off the clips before it dries off totally so that our clip will not just stick to it like that okay so after that is done i'll just go ahead and use my needle and thread to stitch i always like to unstitch it makes your work last longer okay i just always like to unstitch so i'll just stitch at some point to make sure that at least this will give an assurance that it's going to last for a while okay the next step is to fix our elastic band and i have my elastic which is 17 inches between 16 to 18 inches is fine depending on the head size but 17 inches should be standard okay and it also depends on how stretchy the elastic band is in place of an elastic you can use alice band so if you want to use alice band for yours you can just go ahead and um, you can just keep this part so i used my needle and thread to secure the elastic to my heart as you can see okay and now i'm going to be using my bias strip to cover the inner rough edges like that round using glue like i said earlier another option is to use alice band okay as the older okay but if that is the case you need to finish the whole process before you attach your alice band if you're going to be using alice band so now the next step is for us to fix our hard wire and we'll be doing that with needle and thread so i'll just place my wire like this and then place my hand onto it and i start tacking using needle and thread neatly I'll be tacking this down at different points like four five or six points you can see me taking the thread you could see me taking the thread and needle multiple times on that same spot i did this on five more spots and then um, that holds the wire firmly to the brim As you can see, I've tagged the wire down. I've tagged the wire down to the brim of the ad at four or how I many at about six different points. And the next step is just for us to embellish. So at this point, you can always be creative, embellish as you wish. You can cover the whole part of the wire with appliques, with trimmings, so that no one knows there's something even holding your hat right there. And you can just cover the parts we have the um the tackings, okay. So I'm also here trying to cover up this part with my trimmings. I think I decided to change the trimmings. I used a wider one so as to cover those parts I have the rough edges. I had to manage this fabric to cover my crown. So that's why we have some creases right there. But notwithstanding, we can always cover any part we don't want to be uh, have. I mean, we don't want to have showing on the outside with embellishment. If there's any question you have, let me leave a comment below. If you have any video suggestion for me. Kindly leave a comment below or send me pictures on my Instagram at Dolly Crafties.
I thank you so much for all your support so far. If you are new to my channel, I share Edward tutorials, DIYs and business um, tips and tips. If it's something you're interested in, kindly subscribe so you don't miss out of any of my videos. So I've turned the art upside down and I'm also going to cover the under part of the wire with my bias strip just to uh, hide the fact that we have a wire there okay okay i'll do that round and also come to the inner part of the art i explained earlier that we're supposed to cover the inner rough edges i'll do that as well but that would be towards the end of the whole process okay finally what i did was to just cut a little piece of quinolin which i used in creating a beautiful rose so the queen only measures about 15 inches and I folded it into two and I sewed loose stitches from one end to the other and I took off the thread on the queen only before folding it into two and sewed loose stitches from one end to the other end just to form a beautiful rose which I attached to our queen only art. And that is all about the making of this beautiful queen learning art. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Let me have them in the comment section. Or you can decide to reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook and send pictures of what you like me to do a tutorial on. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.